action. Yeah, rock and roll. Hey. Rap this TV. <laughs> so we'll start here. Uh, so before, uh, this is the second season of the life cycle butterfly. Uh, caterpillar. First stage from eight five days, you turn into caterpillar. Caterpillar sixteen days, you turn into pupa or chrysalis. And then chrysalis sixteen days again, you turn into butterfly. So from egg to butterfly, it takes thirty seven days, and the butterfly lives only twenty one days. There you go. And then we have here um, the largest butterfly here in the Philippines. This is called bird wing because they fly like a bird. This is the female here. This is the male. Butterfly. They look like butterfly, but they are not considered moth. butterfly. Man. They belong to the moth family. Okay, okay, this is the largest moth here in the Philippines and the third in the world. This is called Atlas moth. So the difference between moth and butterflies, we can look to their antenna. Moth have feathery antenna, butterfly straight with knob. Butterflies are colorful, moths have dull color. They're active night time, butterflies are daytime. Moth make cocoon, butterfly make pupa or chrysalis. But the process is the same, it's called metamorphosis. And when the moth rests, the wings is flat, butterflies upright and resting. And then moth have fat and wide for everybody, butterfly have seen her body. Okay, that's the differences. Okay, these are pupa here. These are real and live. And they will pop out soon, turn into butterfly. And you can use the ask cocoon. That's for the moth. Okay, moth make cocoon, butterfly pupa. So the difference between cocoon and pupa, cocoon is made of silk. Then pupa is all skin of a caterpillar. There you go. If you open the cocoon, they can still survive. But if the pupa, if you open the pupa, they will be dead because that's your skin. That's part of the body. Unlike cocoon, it's just a casing. There you go. But the process is the same, huh? metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then we have here butterfly. Half female, half male butterfly. There's a half male and half female butterfly. 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 We have here, sir, half female, half male. Huh. Yeah, they're like, um, do you hear about her mapper bike? Yeah. yeah, it's similar. But her mother right have one body but two sexes. Mm -hmm. But this is half female, half male. So it has two genitalia? Yeah, two genitalia, but they're incapable of reproduction. Oh. They're like, uh, it's called gene andromer. It's, hmm. it's a Greek word. Gene means female, andromer means male. Okay. Gene andromer. There we go. And we have here the longest lifespan butterfly here in the Philippines. This butterfly lives 90 days, wow. three months. Because butterfly lives only 21 days, so that's the luckiest butterfly. Uh -huh. And they live long because they're lazy flyers, you know. Hmm. They don't uh, use mm -hmm. their energy much, that's why they live long. Do they migrate much in the between islands or do they uh, mainly stay? No, in? here in the Philippines, we don't have migratory butterfly because we are tropical countries, sir. Uh -huh. So there's no need to go uh, find a place to migrate because... It's all the same. Yeah, unlike monarch, monarch. You know, monarch is migratory. Uh -huh. uh, when summer in Canada, they have to go to Mexico, which is summer in Mexico. Right. Uh, yeah. That's why they need to migrate. But you know, their migration it takes four generation. Yeah. Yeah. Not the. The starting okay. will be reach the Mexico. Yeah, so, range. Yeah, four generation. <laughs> then they go back. Yeah. Right. When somehow. Just, somehow. <laughs> So they have chemo receptors, that's why they can tell where they go. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. They have advanced technology. That's right. There you go. Um, I'm not going to picture the camera. Come on. Come on. Come Thank you.